All right, doing some fly height and load testing of the radial air bearings here. Bit of a funny uh, setup we got going. We got a one of our radial air bearing pads clamped to the shaft with an indicator reading it. As you can see, currently there is no contact on the bearing and we've clamped this as hard as possible. I can't get any more preload on it. So what's going to happen is I've got the indicator set right there. Nick is going to shut off our air. The bearing is going to fall down and contact the shaft surface and we'll be able to see exactly how high our bearing is flying under this pretty high degree of preload. Alright, go ahead Nick. Alright, so it looks like 1.6, 1.7 thou, thereabout. Now if we measure the bearing again, you'll see there is contact. And Nick, if you want to reconnect the air. And mm -hmm. turn the valve on, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. And there we go. Back up to the same point. Once again, no contact. So the, as Drew Devitt likes to say, the stiffness of the air cushion is stiffer than the entire rest of the structure and it will displace the structure to make its own clearance. Thanks for watching.